but now I'm just down TV every single game. <laughs> and it's just stupid that it's day, it's day five of the ladder, and it's just down TV every single game. It's fucking daft, isn't it? He's got the star player inducement thing. So I could get uh, the guy for 100 if it's at his stadium. What a disgusting team. The good thing is he must be terrible at Blood Bowl. Because 10 4 2 with min maxed Amazons is, uh, is horrific. I, they're not even min maxed, they're probably just badly. Badly allocated star player points. Should have just scored more on his blitzes, shouldn't he? So maybe he's just not very good. It's funny that ten four two is a horrible record with with Amazons, isn't it? Yeah, it is his stadium. So it could go for a hundred k loot grip, but I think the wizard's going to be better. I think he's going to try to summon a demon. <laughs> can only hope Lemon is good. We can only hope that he tries to summon a demon. This <laughs> can ball like instantly. I think the wizard's good because then can just use it to knock over. Armour 7 players with Mighty Blow. Now I've got to put all skills on because I won't be able to tell which of the blitzes. <laughs> Bloggers. <laughs> Time to 1 in 9 LS blocks and not pick up the ball, I know, right? Looking tragic. No, no, right. Team wide dodge is horrible, and they just they're just horrible because dwarves can wreck them and stuff, and it's just it's just bad bad team design, isn't it? It is a bad badly designed team. Oh man. I have to go here and get. Oh, he's got stand firm. <laughs> I have to go here in case I get a quick snap, but he's got stand firm. Right, no. A block guy can blitz a non block Amazon. Grinch fag off and get the ball.
More chances to just one in nine, but never mind. No, this is going to be a shit show, you know it. There's the one in nine. Instantly. Instantly. Brilliant. Fucking great. So fucking happy. All these knockdowns and no armor breaks. Fuck's sake. Oh, he's got dodge option. Holy shit. I was surprised that was a lot of blocks to not one in nine after the reroll was used. Yeah, that's true, Wolfpack, yeah. Amazons do deserve a good rework, yeah. Made a random dodge. Five plus dodge. Good. And used his apple on it. Random fucking bastard. Alright, so it's clear. I mean, 
it was already clear that he was only 10-4-2. That he, he maybe wasn't the best player in the world. <laughs> as ridiculous as being 10-4-2 being a terrible record is. It's Amazon's, so it is in fact terrible. <laughs> How dumb is that? Um, there's half a chance here, isn't there? Good job, block guy block blitzed. Oh fuck, I didn't put him. I didn't put him in the right square. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Can you believe that? He's one square too far forward. He's just got to come back then, there's no, there's no choice. It's a shame. Nice little sound effect. It's like, how's he getting to choose dodge? <laughs> Yeah, ogres are ogres are a hard team to fucking fix, aren't they? Yeah, ogres are a hard team because if you make them fucking good, they can easily be too good at no fun. Like you can have horrible games against ogres where they just fucking make a hundred fucking removals. Yeah, the orc thrower should be. Well, in the old days, they were just exactly the same. Humans and orcs had exactly the same stat, stat line, which was good, in my opinion. That's true, J5. Yeah, gobbles, gobbles, like, is what they used to have. And then the reason that they, they changed them was because there's no um, there's no point having goblins if you can have an ogre team, which is which is fair fair comment. But then they gave the goblins all of the secret weapons, so there was a point in goblins. So they probably should have had goblins back with ogres, I think. But how stupid is it that 10-4-2 isn't even a good record? Like, how stupid is that? <laughs> like, 10-4-2 with Chaos, you're like, oh, all right, all right, this guy knows what he's doing. 10-4-2 with Brett, you're like, all right, good. 10-4-2 with Amazons, you're like, ah, probably, probably new to Blood Bowl. That's why he's not 20, you know. <laughs> or he's played Dwarves and stuff, sure. Yeah, maybe BB Snow, yeah, something like that. An ogre leader, yeah, with no without bonehead, yeah, maybe. Because you could call him like a fucking manhunter or whatever as well, can you? could use like some fucking bollocks fluff if you want. Alright, so I've got a warrior free there. He has to just stand, doesn't he? I'd like to blitz with him, but then I need him to protect the ball, don't I? So I have to blitz without block.
Got the power. Unbelievable, Jeff. Just might as well follow. Well, quite a few powers this game, to be fair. Not helping too much. Running a lot of power. And a few KOs as well, not bad. They could, uh, they could make the Amazons realistic and like make them movement 5, strength 2, agility 2, armor 6, something like that. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Might not go down well with a PC brigade though. I don't know, uh, Sean is here, if, uh, no, the freak. If you've seen women's football compared to men's football, they ain't the same movement. Sorry. I mean, they could be movement six, and they could be strength three, agility three. It depends how wide the uh, how wide the uh, the boundaries are, aren't they, for determining the stats? Yeah, they're elves though, aren't they? So, when they're a fantasy. Amazons, in this, they could have been, but they're not. They're just Norse women. So, if they were if they were magic women, then it would be fair enough. Um, yeah, I think, you know, if you can, if you can, if you, if you say that they're like magical and stuff, then it's fair enough, isn't it? <laughs> it takes three dudes to strangle down a gigantic bull, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, he's left this side open, hasn't he? Mm. 
Safe moves first, look. Journeyman having to do work here. Vamps should just be yeah, tens of well. What I like, um, what I like, the, with vamps, you can just say they're playing in daylight, as your rationale for them being um, only only six four four eight. You could just say they're playing in daylight. Well. With Danju, <laughs> the Amazon that the Amazon that Wonder Woman, <laughs> the, the 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 fucking DC Comics Amazons are not the same as Warhammer Amazons, so you know that's. I mean, I'm not saying you're retarded, but you know you're fucking retarded, basically. <laughs> He's made of clay. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm okay with like, uh, yeah. Look, they, they could be have the same stats as men, depending on just how much fluctuation in it. There are how much worse are they? About ten percent worse or something. I don't know how much worse they are. 10%, 20%, whatever. 30% worse. Well, whatever percentage worse they are, you can just say, well, it's still in the bounds of having the same stats. So that's fine. So they, they, they can work with regular humans, uh, women, but the actual, the actual fluff is that they are just regular human women. Oh, wow, well, there you go. And thanks, squirrel dude. <laughs> yeah, that's true, try. <laughs> I don't know, it's on the, the fucking sporting thing. If you if you look it up you can see um you can see what the uh, what the difference is in sports between men and women. Glorious. Thank you very much, fluffy burrito, despacito. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, ten percent is very gentle, isn't it? Um, well, there was, you know, you know that Semenya, Casta Semenya, if you know who she is, runner, uh, women's runner. Um, she had a, 
she had a test to see if she was really a woman, didn't she? Um, and then it was basically the how much testosterone she had and stuff, and saying that is it fair to have her running against women if she's got that much testosterone and all this? And then they tested her, and she like they they had like a difference basically in performance between athletic performance between men and women, and uh, and then they said there you go, and then that let them think about think about their turn in blood bowl, but if they hadn't said there you go. They would have, uh, you know, they would have gone into more detail about it. But in the end, there you go. It looks like he is just leaving his star there to protect it, yeah. Got him with a block. Ooh, got him. I'd have taken the board down then if it had been a fucking line up. I guess I'm keeping base to base. Herp derp, base, base, base. Got a man advantage here yeah, with two out. And strength advantage. And he's just leaving this one for, on the ground for some reason. You should have more dances and which else too, yeah. I mean, oh, I thought I'd ended the turn, but I hadn't. Um, unless he just skipped his turn. No, he didn't. All right, good. Um, war dances and witch elves are fair enough because they're like magical elves, aren't they? So you're not bound by, you know, the actual physicality of human beings, then are you with that? Just in general, el female elves are just as, just as good as men, aren't they? In in the fluff. I don't know. I just think. Well, I just don't like the fu the fucking Warhammer concept of Amazons anyway. All right, so first of all, I don't even like that. So if you if you were going to have them, I'd want their own fluff that wasn't just herp derp. There's some there's some fucking Norse that women. You know, I think that's shit anyway. So. uh... You know, um, so I would want better fluff for them. And then I would want, I would want better fluff. And then you could play around with the stats and everything then, couldn't you? Like maybe give them a Croxagore or whatever and give them like, you know, positionals with different stat lines and all this kind of stuff. I <laughs> get Soros with animosity. <laughs> <laughs> a two two zero, Tony. Oh, emotion stability not so good. As best for goes go. Yeah, like a a fucking a Bretonian peasant, like is gonna be. It's just stupid, isn't it? So yeah, the range has got to be pretty wide. True.
<laughs> yeah, imagine that. Positions with different stuff. Fuck it now. Crazy concept. But like Norse were the same as them, weren't they? And then they changed Norse. So they could do with changing zones for sure. Yeah, that's true. RS2000 Eds. Fair enough. That is ridiculous that the human catches the strength 2 and Thrall's 3. Thrall's, I guess, would be the weakest player, wouldn't they? <laughs> Jitterfire. Oh, man. <laughs> He's letting the fucking timer go down here, isn't he? Lucky he's playing a bit crap. Lucky this isn't a loner as well. Could have maybe surfed that one, actually. Thinking about it. I powered him, her. But didn't, so it's all right. Him. Glorious. Did the fucking camera move there? I wanted to put him there. Glorious, thank you very much, Tony Plays Poly. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you very much, Tony. I got the right person this time. I can't go at the sideline, can I? And I think I'm going to have to do a dodge here. Maybe not. Maybe double GFI. No, that doesn't achieve the same. So called zero reroll, zero GFI there. And a dodge here. Ha ha ha. Glorious. Could one dice her, because why not? Could be a pal. Or this one. No, can't take both down though, can I? Probably best just let him roll dice. Christmas man and Melvin Diesel. <laughs> he completes me. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far, Tony, but thank you. <laughs>
Who's out of the circle? Gotta admit I was AFK there. It looks alright to me. Ah, Blitzen fixed herself. Good. Good for her. Me too. <laughs> oh, shit. This is getting pretty rough, isn't it? Try and stall. Maybe I shouldn't try and try to stall. Like I could just score. But if I've done, and I received uh, level for him, flat fat. Like it's going to get risky, isn't it, with him getting men in front? He's going to jam a lord in next turn. I like the fact that he only gets one, but he's going to get two anyway. I didn't turn him over. I thought I'd turn him over on defence for a while. A minute. Well, actually, I thought he'd scored, and it was my, it was me trying to make it one-one. I think I just score here because it's so easy for me to just get these three, jam them in, and stop the score. And they are slow, at least. So he, the guard recovered. That's annoying. It's not going to be that easy to break through the middle there, and obviously breaking through the sides hard. Got the bolt as well if I need it. Well, I'm not going to use it. Let's be honest. Both down here would be the best from breaking through the centre, so I think blocks in the middle is the best. K 
kick mine at all. <laughs> yeah, that's two lemon is good. Yeah, three two zero looks all right, doesn't it? Really. Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, so he's going to go for the one dice blitz on the sideline, I guess. Because he had that guard, didn't he? That, let, that lets him get the one dice blitz down the sideline, but... Maybe I should have put the blocks on the sidelines. But I think one dicing them. One dicing him for a, a both down. Then he could have two diced him, blitzed him, and then he could have flooded the middle. I think it was the right decision to put the blocks there and the non blocks there. Of course, he gets the quick snap after a goal one square back. <laughs> Fucking bastard. He's on zero, Mr. Throw. Well, now he can fucking break through easily, can't he, with a quick snap? For fuck's sake. Yeah, that's true, TLC. That's true. Bretts again, maybe. Bretts are a good shit team, because at least they do have the block and the wrestle, so they've got half a chance when, when forced to do dumb shit. Now that was annoying quick snap. I mean, obviously I set up to be punished by a quick snap. But that it was really a hugely damaging quick snap, wasn't it? But if I hadn't set up there, then it's so much easier for them to break through the middle. Which is the best chance to score, isn't it? He just did a pass. He just fucking just outright did a pass. Holy shit. That was a huge quick snap. Wow, he pushed him there. Okay. Oh yeah, because he's just going to tag that one. And potato. Wow, roll a one. I'm going to handle it. About a re-roll. Okay. Well, there's obviously going to be no, no wizard here. Don't really want to scatter the ball because it could go to a worse square, couldn't it? Dear fight to hit. Go get those girls, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell. Right. Let's get him in there. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Yes. Just getting more players in to places is good, isn't it?
this one. I guess you should just put him there first. Could GF double GFI here, but um, I don't know. Just leave it there. Eh? Don't think about it. I got a minute, but I just won't think, and hope it's good enough. He may well serve the warrior, but that's all right if it if it means he doesn't score, isn't it? I don't even know what his play is here. One dice the warrior, put the guard in, get a scatter or something. See what happens and if he gets a good one. Dodge down the sideline. Maybe I should have tried those two GFIs because I guess he has to get a scatter to do anything. Hello, Vela Hoppier. Are you ready for the big match on Wednesday? Hopefully, you can roll a lot of skulls to give me a chance. Hello, Dr. M Mama Bosco, VIP Dr. Mama Bosco. It is, the, it is the last game of the day, yeah. Fucking Amazons. <laughs> Seven more hours. <laughs> There's not seven more hours. <laughs> Just gonna serve the warrior by the looks of it. It's the worst matchup of the day. I guess it is, yeah. I guess it is. No, no, the, the, the Dark Elves were terrifying, actually, weren't they? The Dark Elves was a really bad matchup. But, um... He's just blocked off at getting that other zone in there. I don't know what he's playing at here. Yeah, he's a stabby skeleton. He is Synod Bad, isn't he? The proper, his proper name is Synod Bad. I'm not in that good a mood, mood Lil Baz. <laughs> I'm putting a brave face on it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, really, I'm really not in that good a mood, believe me. I don't know how many players he's got on this team, 12. He just went for the 6 up pick up. <laughs> oh, mate. Christmas man. So he might be on 10 now, I think. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, he had 12. So I think this set up again with the uh, with the wizard. Because that denied him the LOS, didn't it? So it's worked once. Alibaba is very put with the AI, so he must be good. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed anything from his desperate two turn touchdown. P. Diddy. Oh, man. You can easy surf these, but it's so damn tempting, isn't it? Hmm. 
And you probably can't surf them that easily. Can switch sides on a slow. It's not that easy, is it, to, to surf them? Nah, no, probably not. Easier to dice him, but then not even that easy to two dice him. One dice him. And one dice him, and then surf him, maybe surf him. I think it's best to put the pressure on, isn't it, with warriors, and then fireball and stuff. TV plus kick off events, yeah. Oh, fucking toes hurt now, I don't know why. Well, obviously I do know why, because it's had, it's had <laughs> fucking nails ripped out of it, but you know what I mean. pretty good. That was a pretty good perfect defense, wasn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI to two dice. Not that it'll mean much, but still, I think the main thing here is going to be to put pressure on for the wizard next turn, uh, rather than rather than bolt or anything this turn. That's his name. I don't really want to put three players on this one, but might have to. So easy to surf, isn't it? Mm. It's his only shot. His, his only way of getting this game is fucking doing something with this Amazon here. So, oh wow, got the pow. Outrageous. Outrageous pow. The stone, huge. Come on, scruffy pelt. I believe in you. There wasn't an obvious, there wasn't like an easy 
There wasn't an easy recovery, was there? That was the thing. Like, I could have bought other carrier, but then, what, I'd go and try and recover with a, a fucking loner goat? It just... I just felt like there wasn't that much to... And I didn't have that much around the ball kind of thing. That's <laughs> true, Lemon is good, yeah, his armour has been, has been like armour 7 and rolled quite a few powers as well. Can't complain about the look of this game. He's even failed some, some 1 in 9 dodges as well. Outrageously. Oh, he didn't fail that lot. I did fail it. So now the bolt looks a lot better because now all of these guys are in range and him. So now I think the bolt now is fine. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, this is really fucking hurting. What the fuck? Safe moves first and all that. Reroll if it's not a power as well. No, he's down. There's no need to reroll it if it's not a power, is there? Let's see if this is a power. Mm. So I can do that two dice at the end. Hmm. Alright, so don't re-roll because it's pretty safe. Let's see what the re-roll would have been. Both down and all balls. Well done, Scruffy Pelt. TV Plus Wizard. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Saruman. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Christmas hats in July, no. I don't have a Christmas hat here, actually. I've got it in Germany. I didn't bring a Christmas hat with me. <laughs> Thanks, J5. <Jay> <laughs> Maybe I could have re-rolled that. I'm not going to get that many hits on the ball, maybe, but I am going to get hits on the ball that can't afford to fail, aren't I? So I think that could afford to fail. It would have been really nice for that bolt to have worked, wouldn't it? Wow. <laughs> I 
I've got to reroll. Well, I don't have to reroll the first hit, I guess. Bastard. Bastard. Fuck off. Roll a one. Oh, you fucking bastard. Now I've got a block with a fucking loner, haven't I? One, two, three, four, five, six GFI, and then I can get him as well. I think it's worth the GFI to get the additional block. Oh, I don't even need it. Done with an armor break there, Ray. Eh? He's not in range, though, I guess. And she's not in range. Get a push to there, and then he could go one, two, three, four, five. Double GFI. Could just do it anyway, not block. Make sure I've got the reroll for the hit. I'll block him first. So if I block him, then he can't get the scatter on the ball as easy. But if it's a push, I wouldn't really want to follow up, would I? It's just too easy to get bad scatter. I've got a block. Tell you what, though. Nurgle Warrior. Okay, Nurgle Warrior could have done that with the dice rolls. But a Nurgle Warrior couldn't have done that. Reliably, could he? No risk going for it. Oh, was it was it a three on the pickup? I just looked at the sixes. Yeah, pickup was a three. So there you go. Even with the six for the dodge and a GFI. Ah, but then that would have, the three would have been the GFI for, for a noble warrior. We'd have had to make two GFIs. <laughs> you wouldn't even probably tried it. To be fair, you probably wouldn't even try to do that with a Nurgle Warrior, would you? That, that's the difference. Fucking Chaos Warriors are really fucking good. Especially when, when it goes to shit. Strange comparison. Um, yeah, it's just because I was just thinking about Nurgle, you know, and why, why Chaos are better than Nurgle, particularly in Chance Ladder. Because... When this like rando stuff happens, they can they can do things, can't they? Whereas no warriors can't. Oh, 
right? He's finally swarmed us with Amazons. Surprised it's taken him this long. Swamp my ladies. Yeah. I mean, I can't dream of making a dodge, can I? That's just crazy talk. Could, could blitz, push him, push him. And then he could just block away. That's probably the best bet. And put Warrior in there as well. Shake up the pal. Was not expecting that. Obviously, have to base up his uh, his thing there. Like that, I gave an assist to a Chaos Warrior, but it was just safe when he was first, wasn't it? More than giving him an assist. That was probably nah, irrelevant. Rather than, irrelevant rather than bad. Looking good. <laughs> Got Decaron getting swapped by him as he handles his balls. <laughs> Nurgle would be out of rerolls and lost by now, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Jim Powers of the centuries. <laughs> Decades. I'm not I'm not as old as some BB Snow. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Yes, the flow of the game would be no very different. I mean I'm not really I'm just saying it was just a biting out why you know that's why I just think Chaos is so much better than Nurgle. Not only at winning games in any format. But specifically for, for you know games in Champs Ladder. I just think they're better at being worse players. Okay, I saw that. Looking to get in. He's off on one now, isn't he? He's got dodges optional as well. The clever dingo. This was a really good game for Dice, to be fair.
I'd like him to score a touchdown, wouldn't I? Really, missed a throw. He has lost a lot of players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the pitch. I could one dice this, and then if it works, get Mr. Throw into the mixer. I'll just don't be stupid. That's probably the better play. Don't be stupid. No, oh god, I've got a Kaz as well, yes. Now he really wants the touchdown, but there's only three turns to get there he could try be a fucking fair few GFIs but he could fucking try all down all balls that yeah I know I know Dutch has always been optional sideline Is don't be stupid on your piece of paper. <laughs> I have a feeling after watching some of your games, it is not. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should put that on. It's a pretty helpful thing to have, isn't it? Let's kill another zone, yeah. Alright, so if we open the turn with two GFIs from him. Then one, two, three, four, five. No, he doesn't even need any, does he? He was just perfect. He was perfectly positioned, Mr. Throw. He knew. He knew he was going to get the chance to shine. I don't even care about making a bliss this time. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night, that tonight's gonna be a good <laughs> night. That tonight's gonna be a good good night, a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Yes. That tonight's gonna be a good night, that tonight's gonna be a good good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thank you very much J5 for the bits. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You watch this game and think my tackles are wasted. Yeah, that's true. Rolled enough powers. I mean, he's given up a lot of blocks. I don't think he's played well. To be fair, I don't think I really don't think he's played. I mean, I would say he's played poorly. Um, in fact, but nevertheless, I've rolled a lot of powers. I was going to grade that anyway, so worked out all right. <laughs> it probably is the fifteen-second salty way, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get, mate. <laughs> get the cards for making me work 15 seconds. <laughs> that was a mess. He did the salt. He did the salty uh, 15 second wait, I did the salty foul. <laughs> ah. That's brilliant, isn't it? That's really incredibly lucky, really. 
But he gave a lot, way a lot, but I just think he played bad in general. But yeah, obviously, incredibly lucky. Holy shit. Team's looking good now. Three wins and two draws. And actually, star player points on Warriors. All the Warriors leveled up if he doesn't concede. That Beastman leveled as well. Yeah, now he does the salty three minutes wait. Fucking Amazons. Of all of all races to do it, it's Amazons. Standard zone code. <laughs> it did look grim for the team when it was one two zero, yeah. Yeah, outbashed Zons with a TV deficit and a wizard that did nothing. It's fucking unbelievable. Equivalent of the silent treatment by BM stalling. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Tony. Thanks for the bit. Yeah, that's true, little Baz. It's true. It's true. I am on a roll at last. And I could play one more. But, you know, the, the stream time is half twelve till seven. And for my sanity, it's probably best not to play more than that. If it had been the first week of the season, if this was the first day of the season, absolutely. Um, but I've got, it's got all the editing and uploading to YouTube and everything to do. It all cuts into the time and then other things that I'm doing in real life. So. And it could be that one more as well, yeah. Indeed, as Jellyel says, it could be the one more that you shouldn't have done. At least this time it's ending on a high. Well, how he's taking the full 15 seconds and choose the block square as well. Full 15 seconds, whether to follow or not. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's the horrible thing when you play one more because you're feeling good and then uh, and then you lose and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> He's not muted, he's not muted at all. Um, I did actually unmute um, Hippie. And uh, since then, people have been unmuted. Now, where can I get the biggest foul here? There, probably. Can't get three dice either.
you put these uh, journey beasts in to tag his guys. I love the laugh after he falls. <laughs> Didn't even break every what a shit gun. <laughs> How many people are watching the stream? Oh, yeah. oh god. I thought someone had hosted show me now. <laughs> Need return of the MacFago. So it's not very Christmas uh themed. <laughs> One six three, that's pretty good, isn't it? should say it's a good job you're dragging. I was thinking of writing it's a good job that you're dragging out 163 people laughing at you. But um, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> Bikini Fago. He's a machine. <laughs> the machine! Machine Fago would be good. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> exactly, Jelly. I'm so, I am always Mr. Nice. Blood Bowl's Mr. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man, right. Oh man. What's this now? Is he disconnected somewhere? Is he discovered in the map? Just a just a bit of light. One dodge, another dodge. <laughs> well, he could have failed these rolls. It's always silly of him not, not waiting another minute before doing that. Getting the fouling though, isn't he? The little shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, actually, I will just go before I concede. Yeah, that's true. Getting the extra money would be all right. And the extra MVP, but yeah, that's true. I don't want to just concede the second. Then he could just concede now, couldn't he? So He would concede at the last second of his turn, I guess, would be the best thing. If he was going to concede. I think I'd go for a three dice for the warrior. Yeah. It'd be nice though, it'd be nice to level the warrior, wouldn't it? He's on four. Not, not worth taking the risk of being conceding, I think I wanted. it. 
wanted to make sure it was yeah make sure he doesn't get the concession in yeah yeah he's good to level warrior isn't he a target at three is better than a random five Though the extra winnings would have been nice. 100k though, pretty good. MVP as well. See, every game where I like go to great lengths to level somebody, they get the MVP anyway. Only 9 AV breaks. Wow. That's crazy. Those 9 AV breaks got 3 kills, 3 cars, and more as well. That's crazy. 51 blocks. 51 blocks is a lot. You can't afford to give up 51 blocks, can you? TBH fans. Slightly unlucky on his dodges. Um, what's that? 16, 16, 15, 14, 29 pushes. That's D6s. Alright, block dice. 15. So actually, if you take 17 as the baseline, because I don't know how many dice rolls these are, that'd be 34. I actually rolled less powers than I should have got. But I guess I was rolling a power on something else and not double powers. So that's why it kind of seemed more. So it seemed like I rolled hundreds of powers there, but then that's what happens, I guess, when you give up 51 blocks. Two, two Michael Lavelles. <laughs> Let's see what they are. Not strength. He could go Mighty Blow, to be fair, because now he's two cars away from getting Claw. So he could go Mighty Blow. That's a possibility. strength for him either. I mean strength's the only thing that I'm gonna take over block or mighty block <laughs> on warriors. Beast could get movement or agility. Maybe a double, probably not though. I go mighty blow on him as well. I'm thinking mighty blow on both of these, but I'll I'll have the customary thinking about it for a day. And uh yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Three two zero. At, at the end of the one two zero looked grim, but uh three two zero seems alright. Bit 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 unlucky with the draws, but never mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.